It's time now for the Peer Channel 11 o'clock news for this when Thursday night, November 27th, 2014. Thanksgiving night. Good evening, everybody. Who the week is here? Hi, girl. 11 o'clock news at 9. See you on this Thursday night. Our top story at 11 o'clock in this Thanksgiving night here is our top story at 11 o'clock. Kids wrap it in and wait for the day after Thanksgiving. Merchants nationwide open their doors on Turkey Day to book organizers for extreme shopping. Volunteers bring turkey and other Thanksgiving treats to the National Guard soldiers in Ferguson, Missouri, as Michael Brown's father leaves one chair empty at the table. An ATF is investigating possible arson at the Michael Brown's. North Korea has revealed that leader Kim Jong Un's younger sister is a senior official in the Rilin Workers' Party. Stripped that Dallas Field said that she is a decrease important part of their family. Dynasty that. Runs the country. A protester shouts at the National Guard stand in Andri outside the Ferguson Police Department after they grand jury verdict in the Michael Bard should have Ferguson, Missouri. A pedestrian uh, looking at an electronic boat children that Japan's Nikkei average and various stock prices outside of brokerage in Tokyo on Tuesday, November 11, 2014, as well prices double after OPEC refrains from cuts. Okay. Despite making progress, lots of residents in New Hampshire are still without power tonight as a result of yesterday's big storm as it's up heavy wet storm trees that paralyzed as power crews from as far as Quebec. 80 PS today just helped to get power back out of the Granite State here. Alrighty, let's take a look at the latest on the power outage here. Natural Grids got 6,464 customers in the dark. And Star, just 43 customers in the dark. Western Massachusetts Electric Company's got 4,399 customers in the dark. Public Service and Rapture has reported 137,164 customers in the dark without power. Utility in the capital area of Rapture has got 10,484 customers in the dark. North Central Massachusetts Utility customers have got 382 customers. And Seacoast Rapture, 181 customers in the dark. At the Pine Street Inn in Boston today, volunteers participated in the Neonome Fix Give It A dinner as they helped out serve the traditional turkey dinner with all the tributes to the homeless population of the Greater Boston. A friend of the should have victim ran after the should have suspect in these possibly they leaded police to the suspect that happened on Border Street this afternoon that has victim been shot in the leg and they said they're a non black friend of the injuries. Chelsea firefighter suffered murder injuries after a car ran over the fire hose as it got caught underneath the car knocked down that a firefighter to the ground as crews were spotted on fire on Bradbury Street. Relatives of Mrs. Students demanded action about the governor to find their loved ones as President Enrique Peña Nieto. Of Mexico in Mexico City faced the biggest crisis in his first two years of office proposed a series of measures. The Prime Minister David Cameron will set out plans to curb welfare benefits for migrants from the EU in his speech later. He will say that European migrants should have to wait at least four years before receiving benefits such as welfare payments and that are council houses. In Zurich, the World Trade Organization reached agreement on Thursday to modernize global trade infrastructure and regulations over coming up. But Long stencil that fretted a derail a conclusion. Played where flipped and whoops whipped up with hail and powerful winds tore at Australia's East Coast leaving multi-million power bill as the army helped clear up Friday. The Afghan security forces expect the suicide of a suicide attack of the British MC Phil Campbell. Two boys who had gone out to build a snow fort were and really trapped for several hours in New York, New York after a plow operator cleared in the park lot pushed snow over them in a snowbank now realized that they were there. But a happy ending as the kids were rescued. Some of them got trying to recover lost ground. Japan's inflation showed for a third month and retail sales fell more than forecast to show that the economy continues to struggle for a sales tax increase. As Prime Minister Shinzo Abe head in an election next month. Black Friday has long been the most important day for the year, but the U.S. retail sector by the new nutrients has become the most important day for some U.S. workers as Black Friday as Walmart workers revolt. Less than a month after assuming the helm at the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker has unveiled as much awaited an investment plan for Europe. Margaret Faye Vestager, Europe's new antitrust chief is wearing formal charges against Google. Here's a state strategy at the moment. Don't joke about Bill Cosby. Roseanne Barr learned this on Wednesday when she treated the selfie of her swelled body and bloody misshapen face to joke about a tussle with Cosby. 
the rapper Tigga and Kelly Jenner join others as Sarah Rue and George Lopez of LA Mission Annual Thanksgiving Homeless on Thanksgiving Eve. Centipede gentlemen for the first time as creepy centipedes that may be a team of scientists finally managed to make to map centipede gentlemen for the first time, possibly off burn insights into early evolution. Face technology developed on the Rosetta Cobb. Its mission is coming back to Earth as it will be used to protect some Royal Navy submarines. The invisible force set field that seems to be taken from a Star Trek movie strip is invisible. Its setting doesn't allow harmful cosmic radiation penetrated to a planet's atmosphere. Wave. Use the bait. Can be seen manufactured tags that read Made in USA, Made in Taiwan, or Made in just anywhere around the globe, but this week for the first time, and that can be read made in space. And to that, I should space station 3D printer. The FDA issued a new cargo card rule to help Americans combat obesity as the Food and Drug Administration has recently released an order requiring all chain restaurants and amusement parks to display. Calorie count rules. A new form of powdered measles vaccine has been developed and just successfully passed in initial trials of a long session of tests that plan in the near future. French President Francois Hollande has arrived in Guinea and become the first Western leader to visit a nation hit hard by the deadly Ebola virus. Alright, let's take a look at a New England alerts here at 1106 here on this. Late Thursday night here in Nashville, New Hampshire at the Best Buy on Daniel West Highway. It's currently closed due to an electrical fire. Peter Channel News, I'm 1106 here on this late Thursday night, late Thanksgiving night. Time now for a travel report, and it's smooth and highways, byways in New England there. As tomorrow morning, around the malls for Black Friday, expected to be busy in the area of the shopping malls around the region because try to have some extra time and use some patience, okay? Now, take a look at the weather. Forecast here on this November 27, 2014, and on a Thursday. Current conditions here in North Massachusetts at 11 o'clock, 32 degrees at temperature overcast skies with 0 degrees Celsius. Humidity 85%, wind speed north about 7 miles per barometer, and even 30 inches. 2.28 degrees, a visibly 9 miles away. A wind chill about 25 degrees. Okay, current conditions are bad. Region here at 11 hours, 30 degrees at temperature matter. Boston 36 out of Boston Harbor, 49 out of the water. 30 in Fitzroy and Medford, 31 in Beverly, 34 in Gloucester, it's 27 in Worcester, 30 in Sturbridge, 30 in Webster, 32 in Milford, 30 in Norwood, 33 in Taunton, 33 in Bedford, it's 39 in Plymouth, 39 in Palmerston, 34 in Elmer, 37 in Chatham, 40 in Cape Cod Bay, 36 in Marfa's Marion, 41 in Nantucket, it's 36 in Block Island, 33 in Worcester, 30 in Smithfield, 37 in New York, 37 in Islam and Montauk, 36 in Los Angeles, 35 in Bridgeport, 34 in New Haven, 31 in Danbury, 30 in Waterbury, 33 in Meriden and Hartford and Winslocks, 31 in Springfield, 30 in Amherst, 30 in Greenfield, 20 in Annapolis, 25 in Pittsfield, 26 in Northampton, 29 in Albany, New York, 27 in Saratoga Springs, 27 in Bennington, 20 in Rutherford, 27 in Rutland, it's 26 in Keene and Draft Green, Hampshire, 28 in Laconia, Hampshire, 27 in Concord, Hampshire, 26 in Manchester, Hampshire, 29 in National, Hampshire, 32 in Portland, Hampshire, 31 up in Port Maine. Map situation around the country. Here shows a warm front from British Columbia stretching in that seven Alberta. It's warm station from Montana. Merger of a warm front from eastern Montana. Down for Wyoming, eastern Colorado, and northeastern Mexico. And you got a cold front down for western Texas. Cold front from northern Mexico, southern Texas, and stretching in the Gulf of Mexico down for central Florida. That to see with a low pressure off the North Carolina coastline. Another area of low pressure from seven in the ass, stretching in out for seven hour down for western Pennsylvania, and from central New York. And safety front for Oregon and Atsasi. Front of my up to Southern California coastline down for Palo Alto, in Mexico. Here, we got high pressure off the California coastline, western Colorado, western Tennessee, and southeastern portions of Minnesota. While it gets some low pressure in western New York, off the North Carolina coastline, and central Montana. 29 degrees at temperature around here in Detroit. It's 20 out of Pittsburgh, 41 out in Washington, D.C., 39 out in Atlanta, Georgia, 65 in Miami, Florida. It's 60 in Brownsville, Texas. 48 in Dallas, Texas, 30 in Kansas City, 22 in, in Omaha, Nebraska, 18 in Chicago, 6 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 50 in Salt Lake City, in Great Falls, Montana, 54 in Seattle, 59 out in 
San Francisco, 67 in Los Angeles, 52 in Las Vegas, 68 in Phoenix, 57 in Denver, and 45 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Here, take a look at our map situation here. At the 11th hour, it shows some spotty bands of light. Demar bands snow around the Greater Boston area and up in Norfolk County. And searching in end for Bruckton, Bridgewater, around Taunton, and down for Dighton. And another line of snow showers around southeast and Plymouth County, around southeast Plymouth County, western portions of the Cape Downs around Bourne, Falmouth, and the Cape Cod Canal around the Bourne and Sagamore Bridges, and down for South Coast of Massachusetts here. And the snow shot stretch of Great Boston and Point Snow up and down for Southern New Hampshire here. And stretching down to Central and Western Massachusetts and up to Western portions of Vermont and up in the Eastern Tier of New York here. While we're seeing some rain showers in Southern and Eastern portions of Cape and Islands here and stretching it up in the North Shore and hug to Touching a tip of Gloucester, Massachusetts, with some rain showers along some snow showers here. Some clouds here. And we're seeing some snow showers by upstate New York from Morrisburg and Watertown all the way down for Utica, Red Shedecki, in east of Albany, New York here. And some snow showers by western New York, Red Buffalo, and Rochester areas and stretching out from northeastern Pennsylvania. Snow showers with western Pennsylvania down from northeastern Ohio. It'll zoom you out. Here it is. Shows a lot of snow showers from eastern portions of North Dakota, down from Minnesota, down from eastern Iowa, down from western Illinois, and rain showers off the Oregon coastline, stretching in western Oregon and Washington State. Snow showers in the East of Bridge, come down from Alabama, down from Saskatchewan. Here, along with some clouds. Here. All right. Nothing more in the tropics here. All right. Let's take a little forecast discussion around the region here. Stormy weather for the Pacific Northwest and the Mountain West. Snow expected for the upper Midwest and Great Lakes. And cold weather for the northern two states. Snow showers continue to fall across the Yard Valley and into the northeast of the northern east to move further east of the Atlantic. Snow can be still be expected in the Midwest and Great Lakes and northern Appalachian region. In fact, the remainder of the third is given out. In addition, colder than normal temperatures will persist in the eastern half of the country throughout the first half of the weekend. There is quite the impressive frontal system moving in front of the Pacific Northwest and the Mountain West, and its boundary will be slowly make its way south and beyond the very cold Arctic air will fall. Higher elevation snow and moderate rainfall can be expected throughout these regions, along with some strong winds. Currently, the precipitation is mostly light to moderate along the Cascades and Island. By Friday and the Saturday, it will become more widespread in the across the Mountain West and the Tudor North Plains by Friday night. The heavier storm bats will be beginning to approach the northern Rockies and the Idaho and North Force Montana on Saturday. You have to find dips across the northern plains. The heaviest snowfall will begin in events across northern Montana and in North Dakota. Snow begins to move in the upper Midwest by late Thanksgiving night and Friday morning. There will be all be late effect snow on the lee side of the lakes. However, once the surface boundary associated with its Pacific North Force system begins approaching the upper Midwest, snow will become more widespread by Saturday. Snow will begin to taper off. In this region, and will be confined to the upper Great Lakes, and cold weather will be continuing to the Northern plains in the upper Midwest of the Canadian surface high governs a weather pattern. Quite weather is expected from the southwest part of the Gulf Coast during the short time period here. Okay, let's take a look at the forecast discussion we in region here. A weak short wave moving up the coast may produce some accumulated snow across the eastern Massachusetts, going to the Boston area, and high pressure moves over New England by Friday and shifts offshore over the Weekend that the warm front moves across the region late Saturday night and early Sunday. A cold front then swings back New England on Monday, and then another warm front, cold front will combination will move throughout the region on Wednesday and Wednesday night. And near term until midnight tonight. And one area lights shows of snow moving up from the south coast, south coast, Connecticut, Rhode Island, southeast Massachusetts. Report visibilities are no lower than 3 to 5 miles an hour, some to 10 miles an hour. Expect these rain and snow showers to continue moving in the northeast across the area, mostly Boston area, south to the mass turn back by 11 p.m. We have bumped up pups in the air to likely fight this period and also have minor adjustments to these temperatures and dew points here. Alright. Let's take a look at our weather notes here. A 50 50 weekend and light snow threat. Water temperature 49 degrees. I'm predicting 1 to 3 inches of snow on eastern Massachusetts and quarter to 1 inch snow from central Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and the Kidney Islands here. As tomorrow's eyes, we will see. Right spread mainly in the 30s for much of the region and a few 20s for much of western Massachusetts up in Vermont and up in western New Hampshire and central Massachusetts here and then up in upstate New York here. 
Alrighty, let's take a look at highlights here. Light snow develops after midnight tonight and continues throughout the middle of the day Friday and expect two to four inches of snow along the east coast of Massachusetts from the Cape and then stop in the coastal Plymouth County, Lesser and Manta elsewhere in eastern Massachusetts. Play uncertainty as high as snowfall can move east of the ocean here. And take a look at Hazard Weather Outlook here. Day 1 tonight, accumulated snow is possible late tonight in the Merrimack Valley of New Hampshire, inland parts of eastern Massachusetts and the Western Hills. And far north of Rhode accumulation of the 1 to 3 inches are expected as may cause slippery conditions on words of walkways in the start of Friday morning. And day 2 for 7, Friday for Wednesday, no hazard weather expected at the time here. Okay, let's take a look at the 7-day forecast goes like this. Overnight, snow showers like the main answer. 1 a.m. class got a low around 20 degrees, no force, one about 3 to 5 miles, but just based to 6%. Total night times are accumulation less than one inch possible for Friday. Slight scattered snow showers mainly before noon, clarified mid morning and gradual clearing with a high near 35 degrees. North West one about 69 miles, but just makes you 4%. New snow accumulation less than one inch possible. For Friday, most of the clear sky low about 19 degrees, and North West one about 5 miles can come in come in the evening. For Saturday, put the sand class sky high about 30 so low about 20 degrees, light and variable wind light south wind. For Sunday, put the sand most sky sky about 31 low about 42 degrees. For Monday, put the sand sky to Mostly class skies have about 34 degrees. For my night, chance of showers with most class skies have about low about 27 degrees and chest patient 30 percent. For Tuesday, most class skies have about 36 degrees. So that chance of snow and sleep, most class skies low about 20 degrees and chest patient 30 percent. Wednesday, a chance of rain and freeze rain class skies have about 31 degrees and chest patient 40 percent. For that, most class skies low about 33 degrees and for Thursday, most class skies have about 46 degrees. But what a phrase of the night! A slow snow on top in the morning and lighting up through mid morning and Clear for the afternoon and cold one on tap. Here, Challenge Times at 1116 10 for Sportsman up here on this Thanksgiving night. Here. As we take a look at the scoreboard here in the NFL, here, we got 641 left in the fourth quarter. It's the Seattle Seahawks leading the San Francisco 49ers 19 3. Detroit Lions over the Chicago Bears, 34-17, and Philadelphia Eagles over the Dallas Cowboys, 33-10. Alright, take a look at college football scores. Two games played, TCU blown out Texas, 48-10, and LSU eking out a win over Texas A&M, 23-17. And one game in the National League, Nashville Predators over the Edmonton Oilers, one to nothing. The Brazilian soccer great Pele is expected to make a quick and full recovery from a minor infection caused by a recent surgery to remove kidney stones, as manager said. The Green Bay Packers, Julius Peppers, and Aaron Rodgers will be ready for Patriots Sunday as the Pats ready for yet another big test up at Lambeau Field on Sunday. In Sydney, Adam Scott shot a 566 fight and put himself back in position at the Austrian Open after starting to ram the danger missing cut. Number 6, North Carolina, rolls past Number 23, UCLA, 78 56 at Paradise Island, Bahamas. As North Carolina coach Will Williams walked to the post game interview with women, mainly Grange, place cards that signal out where Matt Gaspin and Justin Jackson will sit. And Brett Lynette will return to work at a New Jersey practice facility Friday after spending Thanksgiving with her friends and families. No one day still have plenty of work to do so far. Ryan Roberts fitted him into the Charlotte Hornets mix. In the final game of the first trade regular season, Sanford could pull off its journey signature win, depending on how the game's goal. The Cardinal also could earn a berth in a bowl game in just 13 miles from the campus. Police in Columbus, Ohio, and the family of our state's Costa Carol George say that the senior defensive lineman has gone missing and has been seen since the early Wednesday morning. The Hilltoppers beat the St. Joe's Hawks 6 2 59 in a Thanksgiving Day matchup at Madison Square Garden 7 3 game losing streak. Illinois beats the United States 88-62. Number 19, Michigan State bats Raiders 77-45. And Phil Pyrrhus, Australian cricket dies after being hit by a ball as members of two local cricket teams observe a moment south of Phil Pyrrhus before a match of Kolkata, India. And that's going to be it for Sports Matters, November 27, 2014. And Thursday night, Pyrrhus, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.